when your WordPress website uses Varnish for performance but still requires an SSL certificate, there might be some danger ahead. And in this video, I'll identify the problems and offer certain solutions. Now, the problems that might occur are either mixed content or an infinite redirect loop. Now, it's all down to the nature of Varnish. Varnish is a reverse caching proxy that you add in front of your web server. But the problem is it does not support SSL or TLS or whatever you want to call it. So you'll have to add yet another hop into the stack. So that's probably an Nginx, a Hitch, an HA proxy, a Pound, or any other piece of software that is capable of term terminating SSL and speaking plain old HTTP with the Varnish server. Let's explain by visualizing it. When you're not using Varnish, your browser, your client, is connecting directly to the web server. But when you do add a layer of caching, Varnish is added to the mix. That means your browser communicates with Varnish, Varnish caches the pages, and when required, when something is not in cache, it forwards it to the server. But Varnish does not support SSL. When we want SSL in the mix, we have to yet add another layer. We start off with the browser connection, connects to the SSL terminator that terminates SSL right there using the certificates and communicates over plain old HTTP to Varnish. And Varnish uses plain old HTTP to the server. Now the problem is that the server is unaware of any of this. The most common issue you'll encounter is mixed content. Mixed content means that the protocol that was used to load the page doesn't really match the protocol that was used for some of the resources. Imagine you're using HTTPS to load your website, but an image is loaded over HTTP. Your browser flags this as mixed content and doesn't load that resource. And that's terribly annoying. And that's something that unfortunately will happen by default if you terminate SSL and if you use Varnish to cache your page. An effective way to avoid mixed content is to enforce an HTTPS only strategy. That means that every single page or resource that is loaded over HTTP is automatically redirected to HTTPS. By unconditionally implementing an HTTP to HTTPS redirection, you might end up in a so-called infinite redirect loop. Your browser loads the page over HTTPS, for example, but it was cached over HTTP and that redirect is cached. Regardless of the fact that you're using HTTP or HTTPS, the fact that Varnish is unaware of a protocol causes that infinite redirect loop. To solve our problem, we first need to figure out whether or not the initial connection was HTTP-based or HTTPS-based. And luckily, our SSL terminator sets a custom request header for it. It's a conventional one, and it's called X forwarded proto, and the value could either be HTTP or HTTPS. And that request header is transmitted all along the stack, and our end user application can identify that and act accordingly. And if the X forwarded proto value is not equal to HTTPS, that means the initial connection was an HTTP connection. And in that case, we need to redirect the logic to HTTPS. Although WordPress is unaware of reverse proxy sitting in front of it and does not respect X forwarded proto out of the box, it is, however, SSL aware. It uses the value of the HTTPS environment variable that is set by the web server when SSL connectivity is available. Well, WordPress uses that value to create its URL structures. If it notes that HTTPS is set to on as an environment variable, it will create HTTPS-based URLs for hyperlinks and uh, subsequent and subordinate resources, such as JavaScript, images, web fonts, CSS, and so on and so forth. So the goal is actually to set this HTTPS environment variable to on if an X forwarded proto header is set and the value is HTTPS. And that's also part of the solution. To avoid getting stuck in that infinite redirection loop, we'll add some conditionals. What we're doing here is adding a rewrite condition and making sure that HTTPS is not set to on and there's no X forwarded proto header that is set to HTTPS. Under those circumstances, we know that it's a genuine HTTP connection and it needs to be redirected to HTTPS. We're even adding an environment variable that is setting HTTP to on, or HTTPS rather, to on when the X forwarded proto header is set to HTTPS. When we talk about identifying items in the cache, Varnish uses the host and the URL to identify an object. There's no sign of the protocol here. Luckily, we can use a vary header to solve that issue. Because the SSL terminator sends an X forwarded proto header, you as an application developer could set a vary header with this request header as its value. And that will instruct Varnish to create a cache variation based on the protocol. And that solves both of our internal redirection problems, which causes an infinite redirect loop, or mixed content. 
And to finish it off, we're even setting a custom vary header to X forwarded proto so that we can instruct Varnish to make a difference between HTTP and non-HTTP pages. So HTTPS and HTTP pages. And it looks quite simple and you can just add it to your HG access file. That's it, simple solution to a quite annoying problem that you'll end up with when you use Varnish and you combine it with SSL. Hope it was useful to you. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.